Hello guys, so um, here is it. You got a uh, printer, a 3D printer. In my case, I have a uh, Ender 3. And uh, you probably already updated your firmware or some, and now your uh, printer does not connect to your um, Cura. So what do you do when your software does not connect to the printer? So as you can see, Here's the printer I got here, a uh, Ender 3, and you're trying to connect and it does not work. And uh, what you see is that that type of uh, uh, code just, you know, going through. And then you have here in your crew, you you have uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. You, you Everything is connected, your um, cable and all that. And nothing when you uh, connect your Cura, the only thing that you receive is that the uh, thing goes away uh, flash uh, i mean restart and flash and so forth well the reason why is because once you flash your bootloader and then uh, you update your firmware there is a uh, um, code in Cura that will tell you uh, when it has to wait before attempting to connect to your um, printer and in that specific case, you will need to locate where your uh, uh, file is, which is a, a Python file. So let me show you quickly. So in my case, I'm using a, uh, um, a uh, Mac. So if you use a uh, PC Windows, you need just to locate where your file is, uh, your file location, your app for Cura. So once you locate where that is, probably in a program file for those people using Windows, you will have to figure out and find out your plugins in Cura. In my case here, the path for Mac, sorry. So in my case, the path for Mac would be application. Uh, and then let me just go here, application. And you want to find your Cura application. So once you find it, you right click and you say show package content. So once you're in, you go into content, you open it, and then you go under resources, and you will see plugin, you open that folder, and inside, you go further in, and you look for USB printing. So in my case, I will be right here, USB printing. So you open that file, on uh, that folder, and then you will find right here that auto detect bell job dot p y so this is the file that you want to modify so you will open that file with a, a text edit so you open that file and you will try to find the line that says wait bootloader times wait bootloader times that specific line actually says how your um, your slicer has to connect to your printer. And since you have modified your printer um, by flashing your printer and then all this firmware and all of that, um, the time between your slicer and the, 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 the printer is not enough for it to wait for the bootloader in your printer to load right to boot and all of that before uh, Cura attempt to modify, uh, sorry, attempt to um, uh, connect to your printer. So what you want to do, you want to modify this value. And right here, what you want to put in, you will remove the 1.5. And you put in, in right here, you put 5. Then you remove the 5 and you put over here 15. And you remove the 15 and you put over here 30. So you want to make sure that you have those value just right there. And then again, prior to that, look what's going on. So this is the proof. I mean, this is the, the, um, this is what tells you that uh, your printer is not connected. It's not connecting to Cura. And let's go back to Cura. So right here, you see, you have a blank screen. And then nothing works so once you modify your auto detect bulb job that 
py uh, py uh, 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 file what you want to do you want to save it so you want to save it i already save it then you want to restart okay your kura thing so i'm going to quit there you go and restart so there you go now look what's going to happen everything is going and then here the thing boots up and when I come into monitor boom your printer connected right there and everything is ready to print and this is how you fix your issues when you have uh, added it to your firmware this is true for any firmware because it uh, goes along and respect what we call it does uh, respect what we call the rep wrap Marlin G code protocol which actually writes how the printer has to go and blah blah and so forth so in your case and in my case we should be fine we should be good now ready to print uh, in my case i'll try also to use uh, another program another software that we call printer face but printer face also didn't really work great for me because with printer face um whenever i will uh, switch the windows or i will probably have the computer go to sleep and the screen goes to sleep front of face we just stop it will hit all the printing and that uh, that was a that was a uh a, a big prime so anyway i had to figure out how to fix the cura settings and that was what was the issue so um subscribe this is the first video i'm going to probably do more concerning my finding when it comes to 3d printing and again uh, remember, you want to modify your file, your PY file of uh, auto detect board after you have made an update or flash your, your bootloader and stuff like that. So thank you for following.